but oh, you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean queen? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him.
días. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. Da caños. We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Off suit, I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up, now, does it? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Jeez, uh, what now? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. That's not what balloons are for. That's not what balloons are for. It's a defeated balloon. Through your 
tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Could you teach me how to do that? Well, uh, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Bang! Ah. Pop another one. Lousy, bony fingers! I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. The bread of the dead. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. I'll just change his auto response here. Not now, Ava! It'll have to wait! I'm in the middle of a very important meeting! Didn't I say no interruptions today? Whatever it is, it will have to wait. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me.
How's it hanging? How's it hanging? Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. The driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. Can't go through on pe can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Sir, I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire... to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. <sighs> hmm. Can't imagine. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, 
Oh, no. Sorry, can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll... But I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. That won't help it get signed. to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Whatever it is, it will have to wait. Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I'd get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. If I would...
Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. He's probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. It's some sort of special work order. The bread of the dead. Read them already. Didn't help. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Got a lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me.
Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Well, I gotta go hit the... Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I wanna see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Eva, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. They say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. of us all. Boom. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Nice bathrobe. But we offer several travel package upgrades if you'd care to. Cut the yap. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Two blowers popping out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here. Have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. 
How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street! No job! No way to work off your time! Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why, I ought to... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick? It's time to take one. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I te watch you. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. for trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of that lecture. Well, thank you for those words of wisdom. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often.
I think Don would call the company shrink if I left through the window. He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. Nothing in there but my cloak. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. Thank uh -huh.